Hello everyone, welcome for this lecture. Today we are going to solve the numericals on periodic and non-periodic signals. So for that, let's find out the uh, given signals are periodic or not. Okay, and if those are periodic, then let's determine its fundamental period. Okay, we have one uh, procedure to follow it. So suppose x of t, let's calculate with the form uh, the problem itself. Let's take x of t which is equal to cos 2t plus sin 3t we have to calculate means we have to say whether the signal x of t is a periodic or not for that what we have to do is let's divide this signal x of t into x1 of t plus x2 of t so by this we can easily say that x1 of t is cos 2t okay and then x2 of t is sin 3t okay so now x1 of t independently we have got and x2 of t independently we have got. This is signal time period we have to calculate that is t1 and this is signal time period we have to calculate that is t2. Since we have uh, two signals what we have to do is t1 divided by t2 we have to do at the end. Okay, T1 divided by t2 we have to do. Once you do t1 divided by t2 if you get this signal means this value as a rational number then we have to say that this uh, given signal that is x of t is a periodic signal let's calculate how we can do it okay we have to follow this rule for all suppose if we have a uh, three signals say suppose the sign 2t if we have one more signal then what we have to do t1 t2 t3 we have to do okay and then we have to do uh, once we have got all these three and uh, then what we have to do is first we have to calculate t1 divided by t2 okay and that value will come and then we have to do t1 divided by t3 okay that value also comes after coming these values we supposed to take its uh, lcm okay lcm of t1 by t t1 by t2s and t t1 by t3s that is these twos these two values we have to take lcm if that L lcm okay if this is t is equal to so if that lcm comes your uh, uh, rational number then this signal given signal is a periodic one how to calculate time period when we have a three signal that is t is equal to t1 into t1 into lcm whatever you have got lcm no? that if you multiply you get a time period okay done let's do this for the beginning okay so first signal we have a x of t which is equal to cos 2t plus sin 3t let's take x1 of t and x2 of t like this okay let x1 of t is a cos 2t before going to this we'll write something that is as we know for this signal cos t and sin t signals can be expressed in expressed in uh, standard formula that is uh, representation cos omega t and sin omega t okay once you have written cos omega t which is equal to cos 2t right so cos omega t this is a standard one okay cos omega t what is omega here that you write omega okay uh, omega is equal to 2 pi f 2 pi f this frequency can be written okay this frequency can be written as 1 by t correct 1 by t that we have done here 2 pi by t remember frequency we have represented in terms of time period right now we require t so then uh, this when you are taking time period will be 2 by 2 pi by omega this you remember when we have a signal of continuous this will be cos omega t suppose if the signal is discrete then it will be cos ohm n okay obvious the same only thing is this is a discrete signal and this is a continuous signal only the diff for the, the difference we are taking omega we are representing for a continuous time signal uh, omega and this is ohm we are representing for discrete signal uh, okay so now it's the same thing we are going to follow here right so let's take x1 of t is equal to cos 2t and what is the omega here that is 2 right omega t right so now you can take omega is equal to 2 omega can be written as 2 pi f okay omega can be written as 2 pi f which is equal to 2 and then uh, this we have represented as 2 pi divided by t1 okay so since it is x1 I we can take it as a t1 okay 
so when you have calculated t1 it will be 5 okay this is a rational number and next let's take x2 signal which is equal to means which is equal to sin 3t from this omega is what 3 so what is omega 2 pi by t2 so what is the t2 t2 can be okay t2 can be 2 pi by 3 okay 2 pi by 3 so now what you can do is take its uh, since there are two signals so take its ratio t1 by t2 once you have done t1 by t2 t1 is pi divided by uh, t2 is 2 pi by 3 so pi pi get cancelled t comes up is 3 by 2 3 by 2 is the rational number therefore x of t signal is a periodic signal okay and now so let's find out the second signal that is x of n which is equal to sine of pi plus 0.2 n now you can observe the signal is a discrete signal okay whatever the omega we are representing that should be by ohm okay this you have to remember now this signal standard representation is what sine pi plus 0.2 n is nothing but sine omega or ohm n plus pi okay we are bothering about the omega let's take that one so when you have taken pi sorry uh, ohm that is your omega which is equal to 0 0.2 okay now this is the same uh, representation you can do 2 pi by n right so which is equal to 0 0.2 n you can calculate which is nothing but 2 pi by 0 0.2 that will be 10 pi seconds which is a rational again a rational number so you can say x of n is a periodic i hope you are familiar bit now so next we will calculate uh, another example saying that says x of t is equal to sine square of t okay this can be written as a sine square theta so which is equal to 1 minus cos 2 theta divided by 2 that formula you can expand okay so you just take uh, simplify 1 1 by 2 minus cos 2 t by 2 okay since this first this first term is what your constant term okay so that you can keep as it is and then other one you can go through okay which is you can see it is a dc term also right while the second term is a periodic one how it is a periodic you can observe take this signal and what is the omega omega of this one is 2 right omega is equal to 2 and then what about uh, uh, t that is 2 pi by t will be equal to 2 okay 2 2 get cancelled t equal to pi seconds okay so this uh, t2 will be equal to pi seconds therefore what you can say is so x of t signal is a periodic signal with a time period t is equal to pi seconds okay let's find out another signal right cos t plus sin 2 uh, root 2 t okay so for this signal you can take x1 and x2 x1 x1 of uh, t signals t1 you can calculate omega 1 is equal to cos t is nothing but cos 1 t right omega is equal to 1 so t1 is equal to 2 pi by omega 1 so is nothing but 2 pi seconds this is a rational number and then now you can see this one x2 of t which is nothing but omega 2 which is equal to root 2 so t2 is equal to 2 pi by root 2 since it is irrational okay irrational but what we have to do is we have to take a ratio of this okay so t1 divided by t2 you take that is nothing but 2 pi by root 2 pi which you get root 2 root root 2 is it means we are unable to represent this one in a fraction form that's what we call irrational number therefore x of t signal is a non-periodic signal remember even though first signal was a rational but a second was irrational still whatever the ratio we have got on that basis we are going to define whether the signal is periodic or not therefore the signal will be non-periodic signal okay uh, we will find out the another one which has uh, two we had said we, we had a uh, two signals earlier earlier so now what we have to do is so let's find out this one okay they have given a equation like x of n is equal to cos pi by phi n into sine pi by n okay whenever we have this kind of equation what you do is we know that the formula of sine a cos b 
okay you express that one like uh, in, in the same way that is you just replace rewrite it sine pi by 3 n into cos pi by phi n okay so now you apply sin a cos b formula as we know this formula is 1 by 2 sin a plus b plus a sin a minus b so mm, make use of that formula if you write above equation in this uh, form uh, as uh, as this formula x of n will be equal to 1 by 2 okay 1 by 2 sin a plus b this is a this is b so that is phi by 3 this is a okay and this is b right as it is a a plus b that is phi by 3 plus phi by phi okay so add these two plus a minus b sin of a is pi by 3 minus pi by phi okay simplify this if you simplify pi by 3 plus pi by phi you get 8 pi by 15 and if you minus those two you get a 2 pi by 15 okay a simple simplification okay since it is a discrete uh, okay what we have to do is here we are not going to take omega we are going to take um, ohm ohm 1 and ohm 2 for the two signals we have bifurcated this as a two means we have divided this signal into two signals take x1 and x2 of n x1 of n from this what is x1 of n it is the sign of it is the sign of 8 pi by 15 n okay so this is nothing but your omega 1 okay so you're not supposed to write omega ohm 1 we have to take so once you have taken that so you can write or uh, 8 uh, ohm 1 will be equal to 8 pi by 15 so 2 pi by n will be equal to 8 pi by 15 so what about n1 then if you simplify it will be 15 by 4 similarly you can calculate for second one that is x2 of n is equal to 2 pi by you can see here it was 2 it was 2 pi by 15 so take that 2 pi by 15 is nothing but your omega that is ohm 2 which is equal to 2 pi by 15 and then simplify this 2 pi ohm 2 is nothing but 2 pi by n2 equal to 2 pi by 15 so n2 will be equal to 15 seconds then what you have to do since we have a two signals even though independent or rational numbers we have to take and take its ratios n1 and n2 if you take n1 and n2 n1 by n2 so then it will be 15 by 4 first one divided by another one is 15 so 15 15 get cancelled 1 by 4 seconds is left okay ratio of these two is 1 by 4 seconds which is a rational number then we can say that x of n is a, a periodic signal okay. let's consider another numerical which has a three factors okay so for the signal y of t is equal to y1 of t plus y2 of t plus y3 of t where y1, y2, y3 have a periods of 1.08, 3.6 and 2.025 seconds respectively. So we have, let's write those, since y1 signal has a time period of 1.08 seconds, y2 has a time period of 3.6 seconds and y3 has 2.025 seconds time period independently, individual, okay, all three signals. So now what we have to do is to find out whether the signal is periodic or not. We have to take its ratio. T1 by T2 we have to do first. That is 1.08 divided by 3.6 which gives us 3 by 10 rational number. Okay. T1 by T3 we have to do which is 1.0, 1.08 and divided by 2.025 which gives us 8 by 15 which is also rational by this ratios we can easily say that rationals are these two ra rationals are sorry ratios are rational numbers then the signal y of t is a periodic signal okay to find the fundamental period what we have to do is we have to take a lcm of these two okay let's find out it let's take uh, t1 by t2 one factor another factor only is t1 by t3 so that is 3 by 10 and 8 by 15 so let's take LCM of that 10, 10 and 15. Okay. 10 and 15. Let's take LCM of that. We get a 30. Okay. So now oh, once you have taken the LCM, so to, to calculate a time period, T will be equal to T1 into uh, LCM of that. So T1 is 1.08 into 30 LCM. 
which gives us 32.4 seconds okay thank you